Good afternoon. Today we're going to go over the controls in the 2015 Freightliner Cascadia. So let's get started with this. Alright, right here on the door, you got your window controls, door lock, your mirror controls, right, left mirror, up, down. And over here, you got your headlights, turn signals, wipers, and your high beams. And obviously we got your tack, your water temperature, fuel, and your diesel exhaust fluid levels. Uh, let's see if I turn that on. See that turn green? Three turns green. Let you know how full it is. Speedometer. Oil pressure. This is your control center. Um, on the steering wheel, I've got controls I can flip through stuff. No biggie, just a few minor little things. And here we have your air tanks, your main and your secondary air tanks, and then your parking brake and your trailer brakes. Here we have your dash brightness control flashes and your footwell. You can turn on a red light at night so it doesn't blind you, but you can still see down there. Uh, this one doesn't work. Gets the lights out. Uh, engine brake, high low, regen for your diesel bus fluid. Your override button for your uh, engine idle so the truck doesn't shut down. And then your traction control right here. Got our radio basic controls there. Trailer brake, pull that down, use that to check, make sure you don't have any leaks and that your trailer will stop all that good stuff. After you hook up, you pull forward a little bit, test it out with that. This releases your trailer. Pull it out. Releases your trailer so you can drop your trailer on the yard or whatever. This is the uh, radar system. It tells you how far away from the vehicle in front of you you are and how fast that vehicle is going. So I know if you're speeding, so watch it. Um, Air pressure, this is uh, how much weight's on your trailer. You can tell when uh, it gets up around 50 to 60, you're close to being maxed out there. Uh, I've got nothing on, I've just got an empty trailer, so that's where it's sitting now. This is for my generator. This is for my generator. Uh, it's running right now, it keeps my everything charged, my air running, my heat, my refrigerator, anything else I need running, keeps it running. This is uh, axle differential lock. This lowers my suspension. And this unlocks my fifth wheel so I can slide it just to adjust my weight. And then if we come back here, this menu button is for uh, this up here. So I can scroll through it. I've got mirror heat, my dome light, and my utility light on the back of my tractor so I can see at night what's behind me and stuff. And then obviously, air conditioning controls. Two, U, uh, two power ports, two cup holders, and a little tray. And then on the steering wheel, my, it turns my engine brake on and off. This flashes my trailer lights. And this plus and minus button scrolls through on the items on my dash. When I'm driving, I can scroll through there if I want for a couple items, not very many. And over here is my cruise control. Obviously, horn button. And I got my air horn right up here. 
That's about it. That's all the controls on this this thing. So uh, that's it for now. Catch you later. Hey, welcome back. Let's do the uh, Kenworth driver dash controls. We we'll start over here. Of course, we got our door lock. We got our window up, down, both sides. Mirrors, left and right, and our mirror heat. And then we've got our, uh, these are our uh, cab lights. So when we're hooking up trailers at night, we push them, they come on. We've got two of them, uppers and lowers. Then we have, this is dash lights, brightness. This is that red light down there. And it's an overhead light up front here so I can see what I'm doing. And then this is a, it checks your lights, make sure everything's working good on the truck. And then we have a stick here. You've got your trailer flash light. You can flash your trailer lights, windshield washer, and your wiper obviously your blinkers and if you lift it up it turns on your high beams so it's all on one stick there then over here we've got water oil pressure volts rpms our gauge here where we can get all our information See if i can scroll through it real quick Tachometer, setting, warning, truck info, trip, back to fuel economy. There's other stuff, but I'm not going to go through that right now. Um, fuel gauge, obviously mile per hour. Brake pressure when I step on the brake. I won't do it right now because the truck's off, but that goes up when you step on it. Uh, air pressure, both tanks, primary and secondary. Diesel exhaust fluid, that tells you what level, just like your fuel. This is your trailer brake to test, make sure you don't have any leaks and make sure everything's working good. APU, turn that on, it runs everything in the truck while the truck is off. I've got it off now so you can hear me. This little deal here, that's for your uh, satellite radio. You put your antenna in there, plug it into your satellite radio, and you can listen to it over the truck radio. This controls your dash up there. Here we've got, let me turn these lights on so you can There we go. Oil temperature and load suspension. So, uh, yeah, that's what that is. Then we've got, obviously, this is all air conditioning. Up here, get your flashers. This is our headlights. All the lights for the trailer. This is also trailer lights, cab lights, stuff like that. This in the back bunk and control it up here or back in the bunk traction control cruise on off set resume engine brake on off engine brake low medium high that's for your regen on your diesel exhaust fluid if you need to use it obviously that's a spare 
This lowers the air in your tractor so you can get out from under your trailer. This locks your differential. This unlocks your fifth wheel so you can release from your trailer. And then this slides your fifth wheel so you can adjust your weight if you need to use that. Then down here we have trailer supply and parking brake. And then that's your little cup holders and whatnot. And that's it for this. Um, that's all the controls in the Kenworth.